You've got to be joking. <laughs> this is absurd. Well said. Tis fate. What? No. You've got to be kidding me. Surely you jest.
Yes. Hi. <sighs> Okay. You oh yeah. Yes. Always more tests to run. More tests to run. Oh, science! Nice! Cheers! Your words? Hey! Sure. Always more tests to run. More science!
grand. Boss? Uh, hello there. This stuff's great. I'm glad to hear that. Short version? You're not a bad guy, boss. And I'm glad I came here. Always more tests to run. Oh, science! Euphoria! All thanks to you, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> I do not understand. Oh, for the love of... No. Now oh, hold on. Let me unfasten the straps. Oh, here it goes. Okay. Why me? Really, young master? My gods, thank you! Thank you a hundred times! Huh?
pay. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, that's great. I... My, my, how disappointing. Did they just run with tails between their legs? Such a lousy way to welcome their rightful king. We're here! Indeed you are! And I see you brought your fabulous family along. My ladies? Oh gods, you're even more punchable than I thought. <laughs> You may want to watch your pretty little mouth, miss. Don't talk to Gwen like that! Familial solidarity. Great, cute, and all that. Now hush. Well, did you prepare the castle as I asked you to? We've decided to stay. Thanks. K, K, K. Do we really have to go through this? I mean, I thought as much. That's why I brought some friends along, see? There's more waiting outside. But you know why? Why are you making this harder than it should be? This is mine. All this is mine. Bold words, considering that despite your best knowledge, you have not lifted a finger to restore it. You come for glory and titles, preying on the work that was done for, no, despite you. Harrogate scum! You gorge upon the scraps of a life that was never meant to be yours! You throw all these big words, all these nonsensical platitudes about virtuous conduct, and yet you're so alone. Where are all those people you seemingly champion? Where are the ones I've seemingly wronged? Well, Kay? They're here with me. What's this? A little rebellion against your master? Insolent rabble! They're not rabble. They're my subjects. My people. My friends. Would you just get off your high horse already? <laughs> That's precious. Lecturing me. Really? Foolish curs! Dim-witted, slobbering peasants! Can't you see that you're backing a pretender? A puppet with no fire, no nobility in his veins? But if that is your wish, then so be it. Hear me and hear me well. Any Cretan who sides with him will get crushed by the might of House Lauren. No, they won't. What? Who the hell are you? I am Desideratus of House Lauren, founder of the dynasty. I should probably also say that I'm your late grandfather, but you, Sonny, are no Lauren. So leave this place at once. Grandpa! Uh, th this is insane! You aren't even related! 
They are nothing but frauds and charlatans who usurp your legacy! You are backing a titleless loafer! I'm backing a man with a heart! And mind your goddamn tone! That's no way to speak to your elders, hmm? Yeah, yeah, what can I say? You owe me. Thank you. Enough! I will not let this cabaret go undisturbed any longer! So you fancy yourself nobles? Rulers? Kings? You think you know better what being a Loren entails? I've spent years kissing the rears of foreign courts, dreaming of this moment! You dirt-eating knaves will not take this away from me! You and your pathetic supporters will fill the gallows! You hear me? The gallows! Karen of House Lauren, I do not wish you harm, but as long as I'm here, I will not let you lay a finger on these people! Ha! You want to be king? Then come, usurper! Take it from me! Draw! this to me. Strike now! So uncivilized. Time to perish! Let's get dangerous! Get this over with. Incoming. Stay on the front lines. Are you fleet yet? <laughs> you should be. Are you fleet yet? Here we <laughs> go. You should be.
so uncivilized. Time to vanish! A shot to the heart, and you're to blame. Let it flow! Mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? I don't know. I can't see anything. <laughs> Here we go. What do you need? Let's get dangerous! Let it flow! I'm just getting started! Should be. Put your guns on. Incoming. Come on, baby, light my fire. Let it flow. Cheer up! Being dead is not so bad. Take a knee before your lord! <laughs> Here we go! Baby, light my fire. 
my friend. Let's go! Flame on! Hey. Something wicked this day come! all day. Let's get this over with. A shot to the heart, and you're to blame. Come on, baby, light my fire. You've gotta draw the line. I will destroy you. Dark back. What do you need? Here's a little something! Let's get dangerous!
<laughs> I love to suck your blood! That's that okay? suck! That's in the belfry! Woo-ha! Blood! <laughs> <laughs> Die, fool! Take this! Time to vanish! Time to get romantic! Ay caramba! The heat is on! Come out and play, baby. Hmm, a curious thing. before your lord! You play with your toys. I play with the cosmos. What do you need? The heat is on! Catch! I'm just getting started! You play with your toys. I play with the cosmos. This to me. Oh, look, he's still spry. You... You think you've won, haven't you? That this is over? Fools! Madmen! This means nothing! Nothing, you hear? Will you shut up already? At this point, you're just embarrassing yourself. <laughs> Let it go, Karen. Leave. And there won't be any bad blood between us. <laughs> I will leave, all right, and return. Next time, nothing will save you. I... I will return with an army of nobles so big, so powerful. <laughs> you will be gutted like the mongrel bunch you are, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> there is something, you know. Kay? No, you're not thinking about... Huh? What's this? Uh, wh wh are you going to kill me? Oh my! The tension is killing me! Ah, right. Nah, I won't. This city has seen enough bloodshed already, don't you think? House Lauren or otherwise. <laughs> Weakling! You're signing your death warrant! <sighs> what? Cat got your tongue? I swear. I swear on the legacies that you have claimed as your own. I, Karin of House Lauren, the true heir of Ascalia, will return for what is mine. My, my, my. <laughs> what an interesting turn of events.
Would you mind repeating that for the protocol, Mr. Karen Lauren? Mr. Crucy! Oh, from bad to worse. M Mr. Crucy? What are you doing here? Why, I've come to collect my routine installments. For some reason, no doubt very important and very well documented, I haven't received any written word for you in the last weeks. I came to ensure you shall make the deadline. But it would seem I have stumbled upon some truly astonishing developments. Mr. Karen, was it? Is that true? Are you, in fact, the one true heir? Was it not this man? Mr. Crucy, let me... Shh, shh, shh. Who, who the hell are you? Walter Crucy of the Furtive Union. Now, answer the question, please. Yes, I am. And I cannot abide by this ridiculous nonsense. That man, Kay, is a fraud, an imposter, a pretendant. I am the true king. I demand. I demand legitimacy. I demand acknowledgement of my status in the face of the law. <laughs> Are you sure? Perhaps you should be careful what you wish for. After all, we must all abide the law, don't we? As the chief financial representative of the Furtive Union and the custodian of the bygone finances of House Lauren, I declare as follows. All right. All of the current and remaining obligations, which will probably span years till mine, shall be transferred from Sir Kay's family onto your personage. What? 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 I won't say it. It would appear that a horrible, horrible mistake must have taken place. As such, the massive, crippling, and completely unregulated debts of your ancestors have been wrongly assigned to this young man. Naturally, this is all remedied now. With your confession, everything is clear. Also, I would imagine that Sir Kay would want his money back, wouldn't he? In fact, right now he has an extremely strong claim for compensation, should he decide to exercise it before the courts. I also expect you to be as diligent with your payments as your predecessor was. I am sure you will be able to meet the first deadline of, say, next week? What? What? But, but... Yes, Mr. Lauren? Is there anything you would like to add? You, 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 you can't! This, I, you! Careful now. I would refrain from making threats you cannot back, Mr. Lauren. People were known to vanish for less. So, about that deadline, are we clear? Hmm. Unfortunate. But worry not, we shall exercise our due. We always do. That said, I shall bid you adieu. Have a great day, Mr. K, Miss Gwendolyn, Miss Elaine. Mr. Crucy? Hmm. I never expected to say this, but thank you. Please, have I not told you already once? We're civilized people. I am not a comic book villain, Mr. K. It's just business, nothing more, nothing less. And I respect those who are dependable enough to keep up their ends of the bargain, especially with the odds you were given. Congratulations on your new property. Debt free this time. But isn't it technically still Karen's? <laughs> is it? Oh, I do not know. Ownership is a fickle thing, you see. Claims get forged, papers get lost. Perhaps you worry too much. Additionally, I would imagine he has more pressing issues at the moment, don't you think? Farewell, Mr. K. Hopefully, for good. Well, there! I'm actually impressed! That was one fancy, uh... What do you call it? Uh, deuce ex machina? 
Anyway, what you gonna do now, folks? That's a good question, actually. What are we gonna do now? You tell me. You're the king, remember? Uh, right. <laughs> I mean, we're not even House Lauren. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Don't you worry about that. I mean, just to make sure. We're staying, right? Of course. It's home. Indeed, it is. But in the meantime, let us make it official. All hail, King K! All hail, Escalia! Hail! hail! All hail, hail King K! Guys, thanks for standing with me. I am honored that you would have me as your king. And you'll make a good one, too. So, uh, is it over? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, you can all go back to your homes now. Thanks. Uh, well, gotta start working on that new house name. A new coat of arms would be wise, too. Oh, I might have a few ideas. So do I. Great, let's hit the drawing board. This is going to be disastrous, isn't it? And so ends the story of a man whose deeds echoed stronger than his blood. Despite the countless seemingly insurmountable obstacles, silly or otherwise, Ascalia rose from the ashes, its warm, hopeful light shining across Rashtil once again. Naturally, not everything that followed was happy or epic. Or, well, well, didn't even make sense. But such is life and tales need not imitate it. And for as long as Escalia stands, its people shall look to the past and remember, gleaming with pride. They shall remember the time when among them walked both men and monarchs.
Count Roderick's greatest wealth. You know, Griffith, it's funny how we've completely forgotten about this. True, I still cannot wrap my head around the fact. I also cannot imagine why, apparently, Karen made no use of it. Especially now, given his current situation. Huh, think it's empty? His words seemed to suggest otherwise. Well, only one way to find out. What the hell? Hmm. Is that... Are those... Well... Are those... Bottle caps?